Hey YouTube, uh, out in the garage today, doing some work on my 66 Impala and I thought, hey this might be some good content. At the very least, maybe a bunch of people could tell me how I'm doing stuff wrong. So guys, so far what I've done on this car, let me get my camera around here, pardon the shakes a little bit. So when I bought this car, the rear quarter panels had been cut out. The passenger side wheel housing had been cut out, but the driver's side was all crunched up. So I took where it started getting bad. I sectioned it out. Yeah, getting caught on the cord and I replaced that. So uh, I didn't worry too much about this being pretty because it's gonna be hidden. But that's the quarter or the, uh, the outer wheel housing. And then guys, well, let me do this here. So I put a backing plate on here because the guys that had cut this out, I didn't get their quarter panels. I had to order new ones. And this cut goes off into left field. So when I butt this up for a butt joint, it gets me about a quarter inch gap there, which is pretty gnarly. So I just put this backing plate on there and a couple of plug welds. Uh, that way I don't burn through. I can fill that in. This is flanged. I didn't flange it, but I'll probably flange the other side. And then I'll cut my rear quarter panel, which is right up there on the back of that mess, to fit right up in this flange. And then we'll stitch weld it, and that'll take probably a couple days, maybe a week or so. But anyway, guys, uh, I thought I would bring you along on the journey. And uh, I'm just, I haven't ever learned this, so I'm learning it as I go. So we can learn it as we go. Uh, anyway, let's get started. All right, guys, so what I've got is my fender just kind of clipped into place here. And uh, what I'm going to have to do is cut. I'm going to come right at this bend here, and that's probably going to be my first cut. And then I'm for sure going to have to probably grind it down until it fits into that groove. It's going to be a process, but I don't want to cut it too short. So I'm going to cut it long and then slowly grind it. And then it should fit right inside the groove and it should weld up just fine. Well, we'll see how good it welds. It should weld. I don't know if I will be able to weld it good. Anyway guys, so that's my next step. I'm gonna throw some tape on here right along this edge and then uh, I'm gonna say a bunch of prayers and then we're gonna see what happens. All right guys, so to cut this, I'm gonna use my Dewalt with my little cutting disc. I'll be wearing my hel welding helmet, but it's got a grind setting, cut setting. Guys, just if you use this, make sure you flip it back over to weld before you weld. I've burnt my eyes so many times with this goofy thing because of that reason. So anyway, wish me luck guys. Cause this, if I'm gonna screw it up, this is where it's gonna happen. So far I've got this cut just about into place, but there's a few spots where I've got to shave off just a little bit and then I'll be able to get her into place and we'll start tack welding her up. What we'll do is I bought some self-tapping screws, so I'll put them in here so it holds tight. And then we'll go and we will do what they call a stitch weld, which is a tack, tack, tack it down. And that gives it time to cool and then you come back and you'll tack it again. Kind of just in between, in between, in between. And then eventually you're, you're connecting all your welds. And we'll get into that. Anyway, this is what I was talking about. They did a pretty sketchy cut on there, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, that's... What I got so far on getting her cut and put into place. Get to take her back off and I'll move my tape down a little bit. I'm leaving this tape on here so, and I'm just using a sanding pad. And then I sand down to the tape and that gives me a good straight edge. 
make sure I'm not wavy and uh, and make sure I don't go farther than what I'm wanting to take off but it's just a process grind it fit it grind it fit it you don't want to you can always take off you can't add on anyway guys when we get that done she'll have the other side needing done but we'll work on it I'm done for the day we'll work on it again tomorrow well guys it's been a few days I finally got the fender fit into the flare fitting all around my wheel housing and I got me a backer and stuff cut so what I did next was if you can see this I took and uh, put some self tapping screws in here at the joint just to kind of hold it since it is flared I couldn't fit my uh, like clinkos or blinkos or whatever these are called these are butt joint clamps I think the neighbors are killing some kids. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is start spot welding this together. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I don't mess it up, guys. Uh, I haven't been 100% with my spot weld so far. But anyway, this is my next step. This is where I'm at. Uh, it's been a couple of days. I took two days off from messing with it from the beginning of the video. And... Uh, got out today and worked on a little bit it is a lot of sanding down and trying to fit it and sanding it down and trying to fit it and sanding it down it is a it's a process especially for somebody who is learning from YouTube videos his own self so anyway guys I got myself tapping screws uh, I'm gonna do a stitch weld so it doesn't warp the metal and all that good stuff I'm going to put a clamp here. Perfect. All right, I've kind of sided down it, and it don't look too bad. Uh, this fender, I got it from Speedway, 66 Impala. It's not accurate. So my wheel here is a little bit different. I'm going to just have to kind of shape it and hope for the best uh definitely not accurate at the back so uh so anyway i'm just gonna roll with it it's gonna be kind of a custom fit job but let's get to spot welding all right so for the stitch weld i like to keep me a pair of wire snips so i can clip that dingleberry off in the end what I'm going to do is start somewhere here and I'll work my way down and then I will blow it off to help cool it. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, that's a few spot welds going down it. I'm gonna let that cool off and uh, we will get back with you when I got a little bit more progress. So I've got this thing just about buttoned up and 
I've been doing just a few spots at a time and then I'll blow it down, I'll go take a break. And I hit it a little bit harder this morning. Still skipping, but uh, I've been sighting down it and it's looked good and this last time I sighted down it, it almost looks like it's sunk, kind of sucked in on me here in the middle. So I don't know, guys, I may have screwed it up. Uh, I'm definitely not an expert on this. In fact, I've never even had any training other than YouTube videos. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, this is gonna be this on this video. So uh, like it if you like it. Uh, share if you wanna see more stuff like it, guys. Put down in the comment if you like my shooting videos better. Or the uh, This is the first time I've really worked on the car here. Uh, just let me know what you think in the video and uh, share. Hit like and uh, subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications if you like them. Anyway guys, uh, when I get this all sanded down and, and bondoed, then we'll make another video on that. Anyway, until next time guys, peace out.